guys, welcome to this episode of Fishing Michigan. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, homemade GoPro pole mount. Uh, I own a GoPro and I uh, love it. I use it for many different things other than the fishing videos that you guys see. But today, I'm just going to show you guys uh, how to make a homemade uh, pole mount. First of all, you're just going to need a uh, hollow aluminum tube. In this case, it's a broom. Uh, however long you want it. I know you can use uh, ski poles and also uh, like I have here in a little room. Then you're going to need a quarter inch uh, 20 thread bolt. As I have there, just a plastic hex bolt. And also a wing nut. And then you're also going to need a hammer and stuff like that, but they're normal household things that you're going to need. So uh, that's next step. All you're going to have to do is uh, cut your piece of aluminum piping to whatever you like. I have, I don't know, I think I have probably, whatever you can see there, probably three, four, four feet, I would say, from right there to there. I've already started cutting a little bit, so uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done cutting that, and I'll uh, show you the rest of the process. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I've now finished cutting my aluminum piping here. That's going to end up being my uh, GoPro pull mount. Uh, you can basically use any saw. I forgot to mention uh, beforehand of cutting it, but you can use any saw, really, like I... I have here, already, uh, you can also use a Dremel or anything of that sort. So there it is. And now our next step is we're going to take a hammer and we're just going to flatten this end out piece right here. So uh, I'll give you guys a little example of that and I'll get to back to you guys when I'm uh, done with that step of the process. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now we're just going to give you an example and a new part of the uh, hammering down and flattening out this end. So, uh, I'm going to drill a uh, quarter inch hole in it with a drill bit, uh, therefore allowing us to uh, put our uh, mount onto the pole. Uh, I apologize if you forgot one important uh, key part in putting your GoPro pole mount together. Uh, before you put it all together and put the mount on it, you're going to want to uh, cut the little hexagon off the end of the bolt. And by doing this, you're going to want to use a uh, drummel or a saw that I have here and uh, a, a good pair of uh, pliers to hold the uh, bolt in place. So uh, I'll quick do that for you guys, and uh, then we get to put our uh, pole mount together. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now we're going to complete the process of putting together our uh, pole mount, as I have here. I did put some uh, tape on it. As you can see, the edges were pretty sharp, and just for safety hazards, I put some tape on it. Uh, and to complete this, we're gonna need, you're going to need uh, that uh, bolt that you cut earlier, that wing nut that you got. And then your uh, tripod mount like you have uh, right here. And also those, these two washers that I didn't tell you about. But I would recommend them for uh, putting together. It just uh, makes it a little easier and doesn't put uh, as much uh, pressure on the pole. So anyway, uh, let's get started. So uh, no, first step, we're going to screw our uh, cut bolt into the tripod mount. Next, we're going to put the washer on it and uh, slide it through the GoPro pull mount. So there we go. You're going to want to center it however you, or put it however you want it before you put the uh, wing nut on in your washer. So you're going to want to make that nice and snug and position it how you want it before you tighten it. So there we go. See, I want a little bit more straight. There we go. So uh, now I'm going to uh, quick flip my GoPro on. So there we have it, guys. I uh, got my uh, pole mount or my GoPro on my pole mount. Uh, this is the first one that I've made. So I just decided to share it with you guys. There it is. We're going to have some uh, interesting camera angles in our upcoming episodes. So look forward to those. And uh, thanks for watching this episode on how to make a GoPro pole mount. Till next time, guys. I'll catch you later. <laughs>